What's up everyone, welcome to the episode of Spinning Venom, aka the Venom Blog, and today we're going to talk about something that actually I was going to hold off on until we got closer to San Diego Comic Con. I was actually going to wait like till a week or two before San Diego to really talk about this because we won't really get anything majorly confirmed probably till about then. We're still a month away from Comic Con, and right now there's a lot of people over there working uh, at that company trying to get all these panels, uh, you know, figured out, trying to figure out when they're going to be, what, you know, if they're going to be in Ballroom 20, or if they're big enough to, you know, sustain Hall H. You know, there's going to be a lot of stuff like that, and obviously we know Disney is not making an appearance this year. They're not bringing the Marvel Cinematic Universe to the stage at Hall H, which is, uh, you know, leaving a big opening, and so io9 has been theorizing that maybe Sony will go there and show something off, um, and try to fill that void with Marvel stuff since they do have a few Marvel movies that are coming out this year. And obviously we've been speculating on this for a while and I've actually heard that there's most likely Sony is going to be there. Um, if not, even if not a panel, they'll do something. They have a great booth uh, every year at Comic-Con and they bring actors from different movies. They'll bring posters. They'll hand out Venom posters most likely. Um, and uh, none of this is confirmed. This is just, you know, me saying like this is most likely what's going to happen based off of my visits to Sony booths in previous years with previous, you know, Sony stuff that they've done. So, uh, you know, chances are we could get some cool posters. Maybe they'll have a shirt there. Um, maybe they'll have some news in general. Uh, but there's a chance that they could be somewhere in Hall H and do a big presentation. And apparently, uh, uh, io9 here has it on good authority that sony will likely have a hall h presence uh so i don't know what that means a, a good authority that they'll likely have it um so i i you never know what these sites you know it's just like they always say oh my source of this my source of this for all i know their source is one of my old videos i'm not saying it is but for all i know they're just like oh we have a source that said in one of his videos but they won't like you know name their source uh so if they have it on good authority then i feel like they would know and they should just say like oh you know sony's going to be at hall h but obviously Sony wants to announce that themselves. They want to set up a press thing for that and they want to, you know, make it a big deal. So obviously, you know, maybe io9 can't and they have their hands tied. Either way, uh, it's still interesting to talk about. Uh, like I said, I wasn't going to do it for another couple weeks, but since io9 put out this article and then all these other websites, you know, jumped on it, I got a couple of you guys messaged me asking if I would talk about it. So here we are talking about it. And I think it is very likely that Venom and Spider-Man Into the uh, Spider-Verse will show up at uh, Sony's panel at Comic-Con. And I'm, I think it's very good, likely that they're going to have a panel too, just as this, you know, article says at io9. So I will link to this article down below. Uh, they do mention some other things like Will Ferrell and uh, John C. Riley's, you know, Holmes and Watson movie might appear there. Uh, Alpha, Slenderman, and Goosebumps 2 and all that stuff. They're not sure exactly. Um you know, they're throwing a lot out there. But I think Venom, that's a good place to go because it's one of the last big conventions that uh, Venom can show off their movie like spider-man has a couple other events that they could show stuff off uh, at new york comic-con which is later in the year i think it'll be after venom comes out is when new york comic-con is i think it's in october and venom's early october so uh you know Venom is going to miss the boat on that one. So I think this is the last big convention for comics, especially, and to get that crowd and to get people excited and to show footage and put a, like another solid trailer out there. I think this is like their last big push they can do that at. And granted, going to, you know, Comic-Con costs a lot of money and you have to bring all the actors there and bring everything there and, and, you know, have the footage ready and have people working on the movie work faster. And there's a lot that goes in, you know, into these things and it's a lot involved, but I think it's a you know, very likely that we're going to see Venom stuff, for, uh, you know, at, at San Diego Comic-Con and probably a new trailer and maybe even a reveal of like another character. Uh, I feel like that's what we're going to get there because if you're going to spend the money, if you're going to bring in everyone there, you know, make a splash, you know, show another symbiote, uh, talk about who Woody Harrelson's playing, mention who Reed Scott's playing, uh, just officially name Scott Hayes as Roland Treese, you know, whatever you got to do, just bring some news there. And I think that they might be able to do it. So, I don't know. This is this is just my thoughts. I'm I'm pretty sure we're gonna see Sony there. I already felt that way before this article, uh, but you know these guys seem to be pretty sure as well. So I'm gonna guess that you know Sony will make an appearance and Venom will make an appearance at Comic Con. And since I can't go, if anyone is going that does watch this show, if they do hand out posters or anything like that, I will gladly pay for your time if you can run over to the Sony booth and get me one so I can hang it up in my room. I would be very much appreciative of that. Let me know. I'll, I'll hook you up in any way. Anything I can do for you, I will make it happen. Uh, and then as far as the little, you know, Venom poster giveaway we have, um, I will uh, we'll do something, you know, coming up uh, probably in July. I will find a way to do a contest on here, on YouTube, so you don't have to have Facebook or Instagram or none of that. If you come here and watch this show, you will have a chance 
to win that signed poster from the Venom movie. So uh, that's what I, I promise you guys that. I promise. I'm sorry I'm way behind on it, but we will do it in July. I promise. Um, so other than that, thank you guys for watching my show as always. Again, link to io9 down below. If you want to check out this article, it's pretty neat. They talk about Predator and other movies that might appear at uh, Comic-Con. But I think that's big. That's, you know, Disney's not going to be there. They're going to put MCU stuff, you know, at the D23 show or whatever. So they're not going to bring a lot there. And they don't want to talk too much about Marvel movies because we're in this lull right now where, you know, at the ending of Avengers Infinity War, where it's like up in the air. Like, we don't know what's going on and they don't want actors going out there saying too much. So I think they're going to probably be on the hush-hush for a while until, you know, we get more movies later on. Like, we get closer into next year. So I think it's a good opportunity for Sony to go there and maybe turn some of those MCU fans who think this movie can't happen without Spider-Man and who are just ready to hate on this movie, uh, maybe it can turn some of them around and get them to like it by showing them something worthwhile. So I hope that's the case and hopefully they'll put whatever they show there online so we can see it too. Thanks so much for watching my show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and let me know your comments down below what you think of all this. Have a good one. See you in the future. Peace.